Welcome back. Since his break away from Bounty Killers Alliance in 2006, the name Vibes Cartel has been shrouded in controversy. Controversy that propelled an exponential rise from aspiring artists to now the most notorious figure in dancehall. But Vibes Cartel's journey to notoriety began years before leaving the alliance. In 2003, he became the first artist in dancehall to physically attack another on stage. That assault was a ninja man at Sting. Upon leaving the Alliance three years later, Cartel was embroiled in a bitter feud with former crony Mavado. The two factions who had took on the name of their respective camps, Gaza for Cartel and Gully for Mavado, reportedly escalated the conflict with drive-by shootings and cocktail bombings, while teenage followers faced off on school campuses and the streets of Kingston. And when a peace truce was reached between Gaza and Gully in December 2009, yeah. Cartel and his former leader Bounty Killer dragged their long-standing one-on-one -on -one feud to the center, a war that led to the bottling of both artists at the recently staged Follow the Arrow. <laughs> and still raging right now. If it now go my way, you know, me pull it up like the bleaching thing, you know, it has to stop. Oh, boy. All the while dominating the space with chart-topping releases. Oh. <laughs> the teacher had fallouts with members of his Gaza camp, online sex tapes and several runnings with law enforcers, including a two-week detention by the Portmore police last July. Still, Vibes Cartel's latest controversy is neither legal nor bounty killer. It's skin bleaching. Vibes Cartel, right now, on stage, our very special guest, Vibes Joaquin, sir. What's Blessed up? Blessed love. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming, sir. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. All right. All right, Cartel, jump in and start to talk about Follow the Arrow for us. Mm -hmm. um, were you surprised that the bottling that came after it? No, I was not. You know what I mean? I was actually expecting it. And if you watch the clippings closely of Vibes Cartel's very short stint on stage, you would actually see Vibes Cartel laughing when he was coming off the stage, you know what I mean? Oh, really? Yeah, man, because I was like, I was expecting it, but you know what I mean? I still had to, to go on stage and to show that, show Vibes Cartel fans and the Gaza people that Cartel was actually in the building. So why were you expecting it? Well, because, you know, this is Jamaica, and if, if, if artist A and artist B are in a rivalry, artist A appears on stage and gets showered in a rain of bottles, you know what I mean? Well, one would expect that, that, that as a result of... of um, I would call it um, revenge by, by the fans of Artist A. Artist B is going to get battled also. Okay. You know I mean? Definitely. All right. Hold a second and let's take a clip of Killer talking about that. Here we go. There are some okay. kids in Ochi that call themselves Ochi Empire. I heard that they was planning from in the afternoon and drinking and saying what they're going to do if Bounty Killer calls cartel name don't know how true this is not accusing anybody but it's being said mm -hmm. so how do you respond to that he's alleging that it was planned it was the ochi empire that that, that started it no, well not to my knowledge i have no prior knowledge of, of hearing anything about any planning of, of the battling of, of any artists on stage you know what i mean neither before nor after the fact yes 
So I would say, no, I don't know anything about that. But is there such a thing as Ochi um, Empire? A, there, a group down there that obviously are your supporters? Yeah, man. Everywhere, in every parish, you have an empire. In, in, in West Milan, you have, you have West Empire. In, in St. Anne's, you have Ochi Empire. Moby, the same thing, and it goes on and on. Really? Yeah, definitely. So you, you went out and set them up, Cartier? No, you know, people just took on the name because the first set of people to have the name actually were the Ochi Empire. Yes. And Vibes Cartel bigging them up on stage shows across the island that let <laughs> everybody in each respective parish is taking on their own names. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So how big is this war between you and Kino? Well, I'd like to let Jamaica people know that Vibes Cartel is not in any war with any artist. You know what I mean? Vibes Cartel is just doing music, making hit songs, you know what I mean, making products, mm -hmm. and overall just making money. Vibes Cartel has no time for any war, any feuding or anything of that negative nature with any artist and it has been like that for the past two years since the end of the mother the vibes cartel rivalry so you aren't answering killers i'm not answering anybody a lot of artists trying to get a hype of vibes cartel you know what i mean because you know when you're at the top a lot of people are going to try to 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 to, to seek to climb to the top and 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 riding an artist's career that is not the case with vibes cartel i won't give anyone the time of day mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And this, and the, even though you say you're not in any rivalry with, with Killer, mm -hmm. um, are you in, in any way, is it in any way affecting the relationship with Mavado or the peace truce between you, you and Mavado? No, you know, because as I said before, Vibes Cartel is not in any war with anyone. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it works both ways. If I'm not in any war with, with, with Bounty Killer, how can I be in a war with, with, with his son? Okay. You know what I mean? But are you, do you regard yourself as, as his son? An estranged one. <laughs> <laughs> but still his son. But one nonetheless, you yeah. know what I mean? Don't mess with me, you can't tell me, son. You find your body from where it's on. I search me now, I beg no friend. What credit do you give him, though, Killer, for your career success? Well, just by introducing Vibes Cartel professionally to the business, because history cannot be rewritten. It's already there for all to see, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And everybody knows that that is where Vibes Cartel came from. But you know what I mean? When he was a child, he acted as a child. When he's a man, he put away childish thing. You know what I mean? Two bull can't reel in a one pen, and I could go on and on and on with proverbs. Yes. To the effect that Vibes Cartel had to be on his own. So you saw in 2006 mm -hmm. that you would be a bull, and there's no way you and him can reel in the same pen. Yeah. And so you walked out. Yeah, I had to do that. Because back then, as, um, you saw yourself going to the top. Yeah, and it's. Surpassing I, killer, you were saying? Surpassing everyone in dancehall music right now because you know from time to time you have you have top contenders and you have defending champions. Mm. Right now Vice Cartel is the defending champion. Okay. And no one can deny that. But Killer does not accept that any DJ in the business, as he puts it, better than him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do we how where are you on that? Well, as I said before, I'm not really here to discuss what Killer thinks or what any other artist thinks. Yes. I'm telling you what is in the mind of the people and what is out there statistically to prove that Vibes Cartel is the M-A-N. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You're the man right now, all right? Yeah. Fair enough. Let's talk about Sting. Um, why didn't you want to do Sting? Well, Sting, I didn't want to do Sting for a lot of reasons, but the main reason was monetary wise because you know over the years um vibes cartel and a lot of artists have lent their expertise and their talents and time mm -hmm. to sting without getting proper compensation monetarily okay you know what i mean so i figured that vibes cartel being the man right now i deserve my share of the compensation you know what i mean and what my, is that what? it was it was a hefty sum but you know what i mean i think it was a sum that could have been paid by the promoters um based on the fact that they got a lot of sponsorship big box sponsorship from a lot of people. But it. shouldn't it be based on your pulling power? How many people can actually pull to the venue? Vibes Cartel and Movada can pull every single dancehall fan to Sting. With no help from anyone With else? With no help from anyone else, and I so can guarantee that. If you, you're you saying categorically right now, Cartel, mm -hmm. that if you and Movado are put on a show, mm -hmm. the entire dancehall fan base will come out to it? Definitely, and if you're a promoter that uh, keeping an event that night, I think you should cancel. Yeah. Trust me, if Vibes Cartel and Mavada and any dancehall event anywhere in Jamaica, could it, it could have even been the West End and you're keeping something on the North End, I think you should cancel. Cancel it? Yeah. <laughs> so, what are they now? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, some fans, Johnny Guzong mm -hmm. should forget about everybody else and just drop your, 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 your Mavada on some No, place. no, that, 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 that is not the case. But what I'm saying is that a, a some fest dancehall night without Vibes Cartel and Mavada is irrelevant. That, that wouldn't. 
be a true reflection of what dancehall is and where dancehall is right now without a vibes cartel or the likes of Amavada on it. I, I, I understand that clearly. The part I'm, I'm not clear on is whether you both, both of you alone, could mm. do it. Because we have watched this thing over the years mm -hmm. and what we know is that there are some people who pull out the crowd mm -hmm. and others who deliver mm -hmm. to the audience. Well, and the crowd puller is not necessarily always. That's the, the, the deliverer. The who deliver. That's true, yes. but we, are, we were talking about pulling the crowd, you know what I mean? Actually yes. getting the people to pay their hard-earned cash yes. and come into a venue, Vibes Cartel and Movado, at this point in time in dancehall music, 2011, as I'm speaking now, can do it. Yeah, what I'm saying though, I, I understand very clearly mm -hmm. that they're the, the top people, the mm -hmm. Movado and Vibes Cartel, mm -hmm. are needed on the lineup mm -hmm. to make it work. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we are yet to prove that mm -hmm. when you put the, the people who make it work mm -hmm. alone on a show, mm -hmm. they can bring out the crowd to make it happen. Uh, when that, we, when we that have is, not gotten the, the chance to prove that as but yet. we have seen in the past, this thing mm -hmm. start long time ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This dance hall um, 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 mm -hmm. phenomenon mm -hmm. started years ago, mm -hmm. over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we have watched it very carefully over the years. Mm -hmm. We have seen, we know, I agree with you, mm -hmm. if, if, if the top man is not on a show, mm -hmm. it, is, it is in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. But we have also seen situations mm -hmm. where top man mm -hmm. go on show and mm -hmm. it's 2000 and 2000. 2005 and less less than the the, 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 the the money they are asking for coming out. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Example: um, a few artists were um, Margarita Ville kept a series of shows over the um, last month period. It was like four shows for four Saturdays in the month. And yeah. um, the first show they used like four artists: Bounty Killer, um, I think Idonia, Chino, and, and I think someone else. But and every week they have been using like three to four artists on the event. Yes, yeah. but. They, they only had to keep it in the club, in Margaritaville Club itself. Yes. Because the turnout was basically between 500 to 800 people. Mm -hmm. The night that Vibes Cartel was on it, they had to open the beach because the, the crowd capacity, pre sold tickets alone was like 3,900 people. And that is just one example of Vibes Cartel's pulling power. If you're talking about performance now, well, Vibes Cartel is working on his performance in terms of performing with a band, which is not one of my strong points. But mm -hmm. pulling a crowd, no who's bad, Vice Cartel is the man for the job. Okay. And it's a pity though that you didn't use the opportunity on mm -hmm. Sting Night to sure. prove it once and for all and to settle to settle once and for all that mm -hmm. argument. But we did into a bigger venue. Not we actually venue. did Bavard and Vice Cartel actually did it Sting two thousand and eight. Hey. With the clash of Vibes Cartel and Mavada, that was one of the biggest crowd pullers in the East yes, Thing. Cartel, but more Even bigger than Bounty Killer. A whole if a middle order man were, were there, mm -hmm. some of the veterans were there. You cannot disregard those who I know, but it would be safe to say that Yes. Um if I do say so myself, it would be safe to say that now ninety percent of the people came out to see Vibes Cartel and Movado showdown. No doubt. We just talked about that. But it would it's a pity you didn't take a venue on the twenty sixth mm -hmm. of December two thousand and ten. Mm -hmm. That could a, 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 a 10,000 venue mm -hmm. and, and, and a settle the argument once and for No, but it would be the same for the same because Sting 2010 was, wasn't was Mahmoud and Cartel alone anyways. It would still have the usual suspects. So one could not use that as, as, as a proving point. Yes. Nonetheless, one would have to keep Vice Cartel and Movado alone in a venue like Jam World in a venue like Catherine Hall yes. and see the pulling power of both artists. That is what and I'd I, like to see. And I can guarantee that any promoter that does that will be laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, the promoters are listening. I will see how they respond to that. But, mm. but um, in terms of Sting, will you go back and, and perform this thing? Will you? Yeah, man. It, um, it was nothing personal, you know, where Sting was concerned. It's, it's business as usual, you know what I mean? Because I got seven kids to feed. Okay. So it was business for Vibes Cartel. Seven. And right. counting. We'll be talking about that and more after this break. Bleaching will be the topic in the next segment right here on stage. <laughs> Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Before I really get into why, let me, I can say this about Vice Cartel. Vice Cartel is and has always been controversial, yes. outrageous, and spontaneous. You know what I mean? And one thing that one can expect from Vice Cartel is the unexpected. Now, Vice Cartel is a person that is a true representer of the dancehall music which which is 
a reflection of Jamaican lifestyle. And in Jamaican culture, you have a lot of people who bleach, which is a large minority, if I might say so myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Vibes Cartel is a representation of every single group of people within the sphere of dance or music. Vibes Cartel is a thug, so represent for the gangsters. Vibes Cartel is an intellect, so represent for the intelligent people. Mm -hmm. Vibes Cartel see a lot of people in the society, skin bleaching. And Vibes Cartel just decide that, hey, people doing it, and Vibes Cartel is, is for the people, is by the people, and I'm from the people. So why not? What about the people's self-esteem? All right, good. Well, you're finding out, Winford, with history, a lot of things change, you know, because a lot of appearance altering practices that were once deemed controversial or even taboo yes. during a certain period. No, it's just style. A perfect example would be, for example, males wearing earrings. You know that in the 17th century, if a male were to wear an earring, you were considered to be a pirate. Mm -hmm. In the 50s, a male wearing an earring, you were a homosexual. Mm -hmm. No, a male wearing an earring is just trendy. So it's the same thing with bleaching. Bleaching 25 years ago meant something different than bleaching now. You know what I mean? Vibes Cartel is just a person that feel like for just get my tattoo them brilliant and more showing and just feel like for just rub on something. It has nothing to do with anything about um, self-hate or, or a denial of, of, of the Garveyite message of, of, of blackness. It has nothing to do. And bleaching is happening all over the globe. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is just... Um it's probably way behind some other places. True, very true. All over Africa. Very true. Asia, the US, mm -hmm. and England and so mm -hmm. And the research have shown mm -hmm. that self-esteem is a big, big reason. Mm -hmm. Another one is social mobility. People feeling that they will, be, they will get more um, social acceptance and, and more economic um, gains, more economic opportunities if, they, if they're, they're light-skinned. Um, and, and, and in a sense, aren't you run the risk mm -hmm. of being seen as one working very hard to reverse mm -hmm. years of work and struggle by black people mm -hmm. to, to, to lift self-esteem. No, I wouldn't say that, you know, because if you check black people's advancement or non-advancement thereof over centuries and the issues for our advancement or non-advancement, skin bleaching isn't even in the top ten. You know what I mean? Black people's self-esteem our lack thereof comes from our colonial past, our past as slaves. Mm -hmm. It comes from a lack of social understanding, social awareness, a lack of education. It has nothing to do with skin bleaching. Example, Vibes Cartel, if, if I, you were to say Vibes Cartel is bleaching his skin to gain fame, Vibes Cartel has already had fame. Yes. You know what I mean? If, if to gain social mobility, Vibes Cartel is already socially mobile. Yes. You know what I mean? So as I said before, black people, example again, you know, Winford Williams. In the, in the 18th, 17th century, you know, early 1900s, you know, if a black woman were to straighten her hair with hair cream or use the big iron comb straighten her hair, she was considered as somebody who was really oppressing herself and oppressing her, trying to suppress her blackness. Mm -hmm. No, it is just commonplace for a child, a, little, a man of his daughter, a woman, and she going to, to high school or primary school. Them just scream out her ear to make it more manageable. Mm -hmm. So it has nothing to do with, no, I don't think it has anything to do with um, self-esteem. It is just, as I said before, style, and we as a, a black people, as a proud race, can just dictate style for what it is. It's just merely style. And if I'm not speaking, and for everyone in the black community, I'm definitely speaking about my views on why I do it. Yes. But you have a lot of followers, would mm -hmm. you say? Wouldn't you I agree? Have, I have quite a lot. And, uh, and, and uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you, you were quoted in, a, in, in an article in one of the local papers mm -hmm. as saying that the people will respect and, and, and honor and even act on just mm -hmm. about everything you say, certain, certain fans. Uh, do you agree? Yeah, I agree, but you have to understand, you know, Winford Williams. Vibes Cartel is not the first to do anything, and I won't be the last. Yes. As is the case with, with skin but, bleaching. But whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. Vibe, you, you do have and you have accepted that you have mm -hmm. a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. The attention of the mm -hmm. youth. Mm -hmm. The kids in particular in mm -hmm. the inner city who mm -hmm. you say you are mirroring that their reality. Mm -hmm. Bleaching was there way before you came along. True. You glamorize it. Mm -hmm. And now, 
but but and you talked about the economics um the reason why people were doing certain things back when mm -hmm. was because of lack of education mm -hmm. lack of economic opportunities mm -hmm. those realities mm -hmm. are still here today some of these kids are not educated enough to understand but that, that would not be the fault of Vibes Cartel. That would be the fault of the system. That's what I'm trying to say. It has nothing to do with Vibes Cartel, the artist, skin bleaching. It has to do with the system. But don't you think you have a role in that system? No, right? I don't. Listen to me. You Vibes don't have a role in no, you don't Vibes have Cartel, a social responsibility? No, Vibes Cartel has no social responsibility but, but mm -hmm. to deliver good quality music because I'm an entertainer. Yes. No, well enough, I'm not a social leader, nor a political leader, nor a religious leader. Vibes Cartel is an entertainer. I get paid to entertain. And all of this is entertainment. But you are a social leader. You are an, a, 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 a business leader too because the, 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 the um, Portmore Empire is a business. It is, it and is you are offering leadership. One. Yes, I'm offering leadership through music. Yes. I'm offering but, leadership but, through entrepreneurship. <laughs> yes. It has nothing yes. to do so you with are being a, leader. a social leader. I'm telling you. It has nothing to do with us being a social leader. I always tell this to people in interviews. If you, for example, Winford Williams, mm -hmm. Looking to Vibes Cartel to be a role model for your child and to grow your child, you have already lost as a parent. And that says a lot about your parenting but skills. Isn't that part of our reality? That is, that is, that is a very unfortunate true, truth. True, very, 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 very true. But that's why I'm saying it, all blame should be laid on, laid on the system. It has nothing to do with Vibes Cartel. The, the, the system is, is, is not short of blame from us. From, from Jamaicans like myself and others, the system is not short enough. Um, it could have, them could have fooled me. We, <laughs> but vibe, like we, we will agree with you that we... Vibes Cartel cannot take the weight of the world on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I refuse to do that. But take one little piece now. Huh? No, I refuse to do that. Vibes take, Cartel take is an piece. entertainer. I get paid to entertain. All of this, watch this. Cool, like me watch my face with the cake. So, this is entertainment. At the end of the day, when Vibes Cartel goes home, Vibes Cartel is a DJ Palmer, the father, the baby father, the citizen. Is there any danger to bleach it? Good point. Very good point, Winford Williams. If you check the history of skin bleaching from, as my grandmother would say, war, war a time, mm -hmm. till this present day, 2011, no one has ever died, reported any case of skin cancer or anything related to bleaching, as is the case with cigarette smoking, mm. car accident, prostate cancer, skin cancer, which most skin cancer, and yeah. all skin cancer has nothing to do with bleaching. So if you were to weigh the facts of the danger of skin bleaching as opposed to cigarette smoking, um, then Vibes Cartel shouldn't be understand. It should be Carreras, group of companies. I have read where it, is, it, it causes skin cancer. Have you proven Locoma. it? It has not been proven. Uh, we, can, we, can, we can go online now and find at least 10,000 people dying every year in Jamaica from smoking cigarettes. Why isn't Carreras group of company understand? No one has died from skin bleaching. So I refuse to but be put Carreras. understand for something that I use for entertainment because I am an entertainer. And I Carreras is understand. Point. Don't think that they are not. They are not, <laughs> they're not the understand. And so too are the rum people, the rum makers and alcohol makers. They are. They are under, uh, understand. Well, that will for me make rum too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that too. We're going to talk about the rum making uh, yeah. too bad. But mm. what do you use? You say it's cake soap. Is it mm. cake soap for real? Well, as I say in a lot of interviews, um, until the colonel re um, releases his secret ingredients for KFC, Vibes Cartel will hold my ingredients a secret. But, Vibes, as far as I know. You can't get it out of me, <laughs> me nine, no matter what you say. <laughs> but, but no, we don't use cake soap. You don't use cake soap? No. And, and, no, we don't use cake soap. So, kids, stop using the cake soap. Okay. So you feel a, good now? <laughs> well, at, least, at least, yes. And, uh, give me that little bit. I, I thank you, sir, for saying that yeah. to the kids. Because as mm -hmm. far as we know, you were saying mm -hmm. it's cake soap, and kids and yeah. people were using cake mm -hmm. soap to but save the cake, cake soap. Yeah, cake soap, you use by your skin to keep it cool, man. But the, um, the reality of it, Winford, and I, and I um, want to make this point clear again. Yeah. Bleaching 25 years ago is different from bleaching today. Bleaching 25 years ago says, said a lot about our self-esteem or lack of it. Bleaching today is all about dictation of style. Mm -hmm. And that is just my opinion, and I will stick to that opinion. It is just a dictation of style. It is pure aesthetic, you're saying. 
for Vibes Cartel. It's the same what they do with research about dancehall. Um, the, Caroline Cooper and a lot of these people have some books. There are a dime a dozen books, if I may say so, who try to dissect dancehall and get into the brain of dancehall performers and the people who are fans of dancehall music. And that is total rubbish. And so far, far um, distance from what is really happening in, 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 in the culture. You know what I mean? So you might be saying so here that you're it has challenging the I'm findings of the social scientists. Yes, man. Community. Yes, and uh, and you say you're not a leader. I'm not a leader. But those who are leading. But I'm a person that I would consider myself you're well. You're challenging enough. their findings. Yes, because I'm reading what they're writing and I'm living the experience in the street with the real people involved. Yes. And there's no, I can't see it. it, it it's they're so far fetched. A lot of these people writing these articles and writing these books about dancehall. They're not even in dancehall. They're not even in the real communities. They're not even around the real proponents of dancehall music. We're going to give you some props for reading the dancehall well, because we know that for a man to be at the top of dancehall, the man who reads the street, the streets mm. best, mm -hmm. is going to be at, at the top of dancehall. Do you agree? Yeah, that's and that why is I'm your that is your special. <laughs> that is your special. <laughs> that, that is something we have to give you. Vibe. Yeah, you man. read. You're reading the street very well. Yeah, man. All right. Stay with us. Much, much more vibes cartel when we come back. In the meantime, let's hear how you feel about the issue at facebookcom TV and twittercom TV. We'll be back. The girl them love out the brown cute face. The girl them love out the bleach on face. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. Vibes Cartel is our guest right here on stage, and he's not denying that he's exploiting his notoriety for profit. Cartel, mm -hmm. branding is a big thing with you. Definitely. In all the excitement and the controversies, you're making brands of just about everything. True. true. Including mm -hmm. the perceived uh, product that is used for bleaching. Yeah, man. Cake soap. Yeah, man. Is that really a brand? Yeah, man. I have a soap um, coming out soon. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And as early as mid-April, the, the soap will be in stores. Yeah, man, it's actually a skin toning soap with all the legal requirements okay. that a skin toning soap should have. You know what I mean? To pass the, the Jamaica Bureau of Standards. Okay. And whatever. Yeah, it's a very I was legal, wondering about Very that. legal ingredients in it. Very legal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that is why I'm trying to explain to a lot of people. When Vibes Cartel came up with this bleaching concept, I knew what was going to happen. I knew the, the, the heat that was going to come on Vibes Cartel. I knew... The detractors were going to say this. I knew the fans were going to say that, but I did it nonetheless because mm -hmm. Vibes Cartel always has an ulterior motive for doing what I do. Yes, Vibes Cartel does everything precisely to to get to achieve a desired result. There's a social cost, but we're, gonna, we're not going to debate more more about that. There's a social cost about that. Yeah, that monetary cost outweighs it as such. Yeah, but 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 vibe and everything is a man must want money from you know, and that I know a lot of your, your, your uh, people out there watching right now mm. are going to say that you are trying to make money from just about everything. But and, nothing and, is and, wrong and with people what? are being hurt by by these exploits. Yeah, but as things. I said before today, no one has been hurt by anything related or even remotely related to skin bleaching, as opposed to a lot of products on the market that are actually killing people. You know what I mean? But as you said before, let's move on. The, the, the debate continues. All right. Mm -hmm. Talk about the shoe line. We, we, is this one of them yeah, right here? Addies. Yes? How yeah, is that one. going? Well, it's actually um, in production right now. This is just a sample. I got a few samples for Vibes Cartel and mm -hmm. the Gaza people. I gave away a few samples in the building. You know what I mean? And we've been getting crazy, crazy comments and response from it. 99% positive. You know, you still have the negatives from a few, whatever, whatever. Yes. You know what I mean, but all of the comments so far has been 100% positive. Um, vibes Rum, we remember bossing it on stage yeah, right man. here about four years ago. Yeah, on stage. That is why. When you know, brought it the first time. And yeah, 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 that was Vibes Rum. It was rather expensive because we were trying to, to run a competition with some high end mm. alcoholic beverages and um, we didn't do as well. So we decided to go back to the drawing board and reshuffle a few cars in the deck and we came up with the street vibes drum. Mm -hmm. Cheaper and, and more marketable for, for, for the, the fans in the streets. Where is it made? Street vibes drum, it is made in Jamaica, for Jamaica, by Jamaica. But aren't, aren't you your manufacturer, mm -hmm. a competitor as well? Well, we used to manufacture 
Um, somebody used to manufacture it for us, but mm. they were making too much money off it. You know what I mean? They were actually doubling our money that we were making, so we decided to open our own factory. Yes. You know what I mean? So we bought the product directly from the distillers now, and, and, and we bottle it ourselves at the Street Vibes factory. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, by doing that, we employ a lot of Jamaicans. See, so, so, so all the brands are going well, Cartel. Some yeah, are to come. Some are to come. So when you have a, 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 um, an event at the building sponsored by Street Vibes Rum, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is it the only rum in the, in the building? Or could people get the other rums? The, the um, it's the only rum in the building, you know. But you can get, like, vodka. You can get cognac. You can but get is it outselling the rest of the stuff in there? Yeah, man. Yeah. Undoubtedly, because remember, you know, when people come to the building, you know, they... 90% of the people that come to the building are, are Gaza fans. The other 10 are people that swing both sides, are just there for entertainment. Same. So everybody comes to the building to listen, dance on music, hear some vibes cartel, drink some street vibes up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's so are they selling. drinking it elsewhere in the space? Yeah, man, definitely. And I have to say big up to Mobia because separate and apart from Kingston, Mobia are the largest consumers of the product. Mobia burn it. Them deal with it like water. Eh? Yeah, man. Burning it up, man. So what are your projections for the, the, um, the Addy shoe line and, um, and, the, and the, um, the soap? We, have, have you made a, a, a projection, a, a, a target um, about markets and, 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 and volumes? Well, and we're still working things? on that right now, you know, you know what I mean? Because we haven't really had everything um, down to the final T. We haven't dotted all the I's and crossed all the T's as yet, but we're working on that, you know what I mean? We're on the drawing table, my partners and I. Mm -hmm. and, and because the soap venture is, is between myself and a different partner mm -hmm. than the one I'm doing with the sneakers. You know what I mean? So my partners and I, we are currently on the drawing table right now, coming up with the marketing strategy and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, you, you, so what do you have? An empire of um, business professionals. Are, mm -hmm. Do you have that? A business team who are doing these things? Or? Yeah, man. But, you know, Vibes Cartel has, an, has a hand in everything. Okay. Yeah, man. Nothing can really happen without Vibes Cartel. <laughs> Signing <laughs> off <laughs> on it. You know so what you I mean? you're really CEO. Yeah, hands man. on in this Hands thing. on, man. I, I Vibes Cartel has a hand in everything. You know what I mean? I can't just leave things up to people to do. Yeah. But I must say, for the record, that Corey Tad is, yeah. is, a, is a remarkable partner. Mm -hmm. And he's a marketing genius. Okay. Yeah, man. Straight up. Big up, Corey. <laughs> so when people saying, Cartel, that you can't travel, you can't mm -hmm. go to markets to earn money as an mm -hmm. artist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're making a lot of money from brands. I'm making a lot of money from even stage shows. I wonder if the tax money listen. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying, Vibes Cartel cannot travel to North America, yes. which includes Canada. Vibes Cartel travels to the Caribbean islands on a regular basis. We do South America. We do Europe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're, you're free to go to Europe? Yeah, man. I recently but did. not a five, a five. Yeah, not Britain. We, you know, we actually go into Britain this June. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah man. Britain? Yeah, man. We're actually going. It was just a mix-up with some signing of some papers and some legal documents and whatnot. It was just an overall mix-up within okay. certain bureaucratic levels. But we were good. You know what I mean? And Vibes Cartel, we're just doing so music. So how long has it been since you've been to Britain? Long time, you know. About four to five years, you know. So this is a big coming for you in Britain? Big, 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 big. This uh, bigger than the wedding between Princess Kate and Prince William. Right now in Vibes. You know what a, a, DJ, a DJ said to me? Um... A this white, jockey. a white DJ. Mm -hmm. she, well, she's a music personality, mm -hmm. um, a, a media personality in, in London. Mm -hmm. She said to me, and I think we broadcast it. It was in a piece that we did from London. She said mm -hmm. that you are one of the most talented persons that she's ever seen. Mm -hmm. But you don't know why you're self-destructing. Not her exact word, but mm -hmm. more or less what she said. Mm -hmm. um, that... They read and listen to all your work and so on, but she can't, she can't understand why you seem to be self-destructing. How, how do you respond? I can't understand either because I don't see it. Maybe she has her opinions as to why she said that. And you're always, such, all right, let me tell you yeah, why Give she me an said, example. She's, she's saying that because you're always in, in, into some kind of running with the law. Mm -hmm. you are, um, it is rumored that you are a don mm -hmm. and you're rolling with... Dons and, and really promoting gangsterism and Very those are the main reasons. And, well, and some of the lyrics, some of the lyrics, some of the things you say in lyrics. Well, um, uh, as far as it goes, when you talk about a Don with yes. Fred Williams, you'll always hear that about successful 
entertainers because we are all from garrison communities. Mm -hmm. And as such, when we do not turn our box on our friends from the communities that we are from, we will be labeled as dance. You yes. know what I mean? But why well, I've never done anything. Vibes Cartel um, police record is clean and I have never done anything that warranted me to be in any inquiry, such as Manhattan Phelps, but that is <laughs> topic for another interview. <laughs> so you got to balance and say who is a Dan and what is a Dan. No, no, no. A lot of people in Jamaica, you know, I mean? you know the rumors, they say you are a Dan and that mm. you are more so than mm. you are an artist because you're very talented as an artist. So if I'm so talented as an artist, that means eh, me supposed to be the baddest Dan in a Jamaica then. You because know, if I'm more no, done than an artist, and yes. I'm such a talented and popular artist, that means that I am a mafia. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. Vibes Cartel is just a, a good citizen of Jamaica who has a clean criminal record, never been convicted, never been convicted of anything mm -hmm. before. If you check my police record, it's clean. You know what I mean? I, we have no ties linking us to any danship. Everything is just rumored because Vibes Cartel is a person who stays close to his community where I'm from. I'm from Waterford. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. We stay close to the community. We stay close to people from the community because that is us Vibes Cartel. We would never turn our backs on the community. So that is why we get that label. What about the cult? That you're a member of a cult? <laughs> Which, all right. A lot of people say Vibes Cartel sell his soul to the devil. I'd mm -hmm. like to know how the selling of one's soul to the devil go. Like if you put out an ad in the gleaner saying soul for sale, good condition, you know what I mean? And the devil contacts you, he, he writes a check, or he gives you a manager's check, and you change mm -hmm. it. I want to know how that goes, because that is news to me. I don't know how somebody can sell his soul to the devil. Okay. Does the devil have a bank account? But are you a member of a group of, of Freemasonry? No, I'm not a member of any group of Freemasons, but what is Freemasonry? Nothing is wrong with Freemasonry. Okay. Masons build the earth. That's yeah. so why if you look on a Freemason ring, you see the compass and the square. Because that is what built the earth. The earth is built from lines and circles. Do you believe in God? Vibes Cartel is a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person. So when you say believe in God, if you mean Jesus, I'm not a religious person like that. God in the context of Christendom, of Christianity. No, I don't believe in Christianity. I don't believe in Buddhism. I don't believe in Islam. Because to me, religion is division. It's just one more thing to divide people. Religious wars are the most violent wars in history. And it can be proven with even the recent 9-11 attacks in New York City. That is a religious war. Is there a supreme being in your consciousness? In My supreme being would be life. You know, Life is the ultimate because life is ever continuing. That's why the world is a circle. Because anything that is circular is always mobile. Life goes on. Vibes Cartel comes on the earth as kids. Vibes Cartel dies. His kids grow up, have kids. They die and so on and so on. So I believe in life. Mm -hmm. Not in any one religious being or saying Jesus or saying I'm going to believe in Buddha, I'm going to believe in Allah. You know what I mean? Because when Vibes Cartel travels the world, I've been to Japan, billions of, millions of people in Japan, they don't know about Jesus. They, 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 they have their own God. So in the Christian view, all of those people, when they die, they would be going to hell. And in the Japanese view, all the Christians, when they die, they would be going to hell. So that in itself alone is confusion. So Rastafari. I say far, Rastafari is a way of life. Rastafari is a way of life that is more acceptable to have somebody like Vibes Cartel. It's not a religion, it's a way of life. So you don't, you don't think it's, it offers the, the spiritual fulfillment that many seek? All right, in life, a lot of people seek answers for a lot of um, things that, that they can't answer. That is why religion is so viable. But viable to who? Mainly to the pastors who profit from the people's faith. Because they say faith is the evidence of things hoped for and the, sub the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That is what people put them life so towards. So those who call and jump are false, are just making noise, this lifestyle, you say? It's just a way of life. It's not a religion in terms of, all right, when I die, I'm going to go to heaven. As a matter of fact, remember Rastafari don't even preach death, they preach life eternal. So mm -hmm. how can one have life eternal if it is not, as I said it, by procreating? I would like to see a debate with you and some of these religious leaders. I would love it. Tell me and find come no. Including Rastafari. <laughs> All right, there you have it. More to comment on at facebook.com slash onstage TV and twitter.com slash onstage TV. When we come back, we'll be Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Stand
jeans and fit it in a white t-shirt we did it welcome back we are now down to the final stretch in this long interview with the teacher vibes cartel and now we're going to talk about family but first cartel we'd like you to respond to this clip from the gargamel bujuban turn here we go Vibes Cartel is a man. He stimulates me, 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 me heavens with the music. If only him could have realized where he might have. Yes. And turn the spanner anti-clockwise. <laughs> and then turn it in the right direction. Hmm. Mm. Your response, Cartel? Well, when a man like Bojo Bantan say Vibes Cartel stimulates his heavens with his music, I take that as like a great compliment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Especially based on the fact that Vibes Cartel was and still is an ardent Bojo Bantan fan. At one point, my name was Adi Bantan before I even oh, really? was in the music. A any, any one of my friends can attest to that. Vice Cartel's name was Adi Bantan. That's how much you admire Bojo Yeah, man. Trust me. So, mm -hmm. for Bojo Bantan to say that, it's a very accomplished feeling for Vice Cartel. And what about the last part of what you Well, Vice Cartel can only be Vice Cartel, you know. I cannot be what you want me to be or what he shared the old lady wants me to be. I have to be true to myself and just be Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of people say, well, Tom is the next Bob Marley, or Tom is the next Bounty Killer, or Tom is the next this. I am the first Vibes Cartel. Okay. I can't be the next this or the next that. I got to be me. All right, let's talk quickly about your roots, mm -hmm. Cartel. You were born where? I was born in Kingston, Jubilee. Mm -hmm. Grew up in Portmore, Waterford. Yeah, went to school? Went to school, Waterford, Infant, Waterford, Primary, Calabar High School. Got expelled, not for, for not for educational reasons, for the truancy, school school style. Always been hanging around at students all over S Kingston. Start get bad early. Yeah, you know what I mean. But we finished our education at Tutorial College, which was a private high school because my father was adamant that I had to graduate. Yeah, what, what was this, the family structure like? Family structure, both parents. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. One brother, four sisters. Normal family life. Same. Yeah, man. So you, you, you were brought up in, in, in a fairly stable home. Yeah, man, definitely, man. Both parents, man, married and be things, man. So, so how did they feel about your rebelliousness at, at, at teenage? At, well, at teenage well, well, my father and I were always at odds, you know, because my father wanted me to. My father's the type of man that don't want to give a show for unsure. So he was always adamant that we get an education. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Try to get at least a trade. You know what oh, I mean? If okay. we weren't making it in the education of math. But from a tender age, Vibes Cartel knew that my calling was music. And it was like my mother saw that. Because she, she always um, encouraged me to do anything where music was concerned. Like even when I would sneak out to go, with, go out late and at the age of all 13 and 14 to stage shows and my father would, didn't want to let me in. My mother would curse him and say, let in the boy, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so my mother was always supportive of me being a, a musician because she had brothers who were my uncles who were also aspiring DJs. They really never made it in the business, but they were also one of my early influences. So does she uh, support you now? In this controversy about bleaching? My mom, my mom supports me 100% in everything that I do. You know what I mean? As long as it is within and the confines of the law. Where's the rest of your family, including your father? And my mother and father bleaching. still together there in Portmore. Oh, you mean on, on the topic? On, on the topic, Well, yes. my father and I, we haven't really discussed it, you know, because my father is always a man. Up to this day, he's always a man. Working, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Six days a week. That is where Vibes Cartel get the, the work ethics from. Okay. To work in, in music. But the kind of money you're making now, maybe you should you should retire. No, no that the man there. <laughs> remember you now, I bought my you mother a house, my buy me. Yeah, them get everything from me, house, care, everything. But my father is just a man. He loves to work. Okay. So that is where I vibes cartel got the work ethics from to just work in the music. See yeah. I mean, yeah, man. So but we haven't spoken on any of these controversial topics. Really? No. N you, you haven't heard anything negative no, because from your, any no. member of your family? No, no and, and they, wouldn't, they wouldn't say anything negative about um, their, their brother. You know what I mean? Because to them, I'm not Vibes Cartel. I just Adi. What about your kids? Seven of them, you say. Mm -hmm. right? the, the, um, the oldest is a... The oldest is about eight. Eight? Yeah. What would you say to them about bleaching? What would you say to your a son, right? The mm -hmm. first one is mm -hmm. a son. Yeah, son. Would you encourage your son to bleach? No, he's too young. Too young for it? Yeah, when a child reaches 18 years old, they can do anything they want, you know. Because by then he's an adult, both legally and socially. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and he will have, because I send them to good school, so they will have a mindset to choose whatever they want to choose. Okay, so, but if it is not... I'm going to dally around the question. If, if it is not <laughs> destroying and it is not as, 
um, risky health wise and, mm -hmm. and, and, it, and, it, and if, if it does no harm, why would you prevent well, him from, well, in from all, reaching out? No, I never said I would prevent him. You wouldn't? No, because remember a lot of products that you, I know you drink alcohol, but you wouldn't let your eight year old son drink it. Yes. So it's the same. That's why I said when a child so reaches the age. So it does have some side effects, some negative. When a child reaches the age to do what they want to do without a parent's consent. Yes then he, he will be free to do whatever he wants to do. But judging from the mindset of, of, of my child, he, he will do any, what he wants to do because I see an entertainer in him from early. So he will do what he wants to do. But so you, do you have a discussion with them, your kids, about this? No, you know, Winford, because my kids, they're really too young to really... My kids don't even know what is going on, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of the controversy, this whole controversy. keep them out of it? Yeah, man. Because my kids, they go to school, they come home, they have to do their homework, you know what I mean, and them get them playtime mm -hmm. after bed and the routine over and over and over, five days a week. And the weekend. So you don't want them to be exposed to this vibe? My kids have to grow in how my parents grew me. I was, I was brought up a, a, a disciplined child. I never knew how I got so wild. Yeah. But seriously, though. My, <laughs> I, I was brought up um, in a decent, a fairly decent, a pretty decent um, parenting method, and that is the same parenting method I apply to my children. You know what I mean? But that's why I said before, I'm an entertainer and I'm an adult. So I am an adult, I can do whatever I want. So a lot of what I do, it has nothing to do with how I was raised. I think I was raised um, very well. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hence why, mm -hmm. cartel, who <laughs> no, no. No, I mean, we could talk about this forever, because I'm, I'm not going to concede no, we'll that walk it's right to please. Walk off the so easy. All right. Cannot, all right. cannot concede that all point right. there, um, right. cartel, because mm -hmm. it is why, I, because you were a protected girl. You had, you had a, a, um, both parents around. You had the, the family structure that protected you. And mm -hmm. there are so many of our kids, so mm -hmm. many of them on the streets, not having this, this discussion, this, this family around them who can guide and protect them mm -hmm. and, and, and so on. And they're out there begging for, for support, begging for guidance, and, and they're being told that it's okay to, to, to bleach. And this is where the damage, I think, I mean, those parents, those poor parents mm -hmm. who are delinquent themselves and sure, have kids sure. who, and so on. You yeah, understand what you mean. I understand what you mean, but that's here. why I'm trying to say that the broader... The, the wider blame, the real blame should be laid on the system and not on any one person, particularly Vibes Cartel, who is someone who came along, saw what was happening, mm -hmm. and, and people will continue to bleach long after Vibes Cartel is gone. You and I know that well. So why now in Vibes Cartel time would I want the weight of, of the world on my shoulders? I refuse to take that. You know what I mean? I refuse to be that martyr. Take a little piece of it. All right, let's move on to music. You're, <laughs> you're dropping music, Vibes. <laughs> Vibes Cartel, you're yeah. dropping records like every day. It, I, so, I, I hear you do, you do a song every day. Yeah, man. Sometimes two, sometimes three. Every single day? Every single day. Yeah, man. Every single day. Because as I said before, I got my work ethics from my father. I, I'm a person who's always in the studio. Ask any one of my friends, any one of my associates, they can tell you. I love music so much, I set up a little makeshift thing in my house. So as I get an idea, I can just lay down the idea and then I bring it to a studio. Yes. Yeah, or I just lay down the idea and the voice note in my phone. That's how but, much I love music. Aren't you running the risk of being overexposed too much of you? No, I wouldn't say that. Um, dancehall music is a very current music, you know, mm -hmm. much like hip hop, you know. So, whereas uh, an R&B artist can put out an album, January 2010, do a few singles, a few videos, and drop a next album January 2012. It's not the case with dancehall music. Dancehall is a current art form, meaning this week Clarks will be the, the hot shows, next week is Polo. Mm -hmm. So you DJing about Clarks this week and don't do a next song next five years now. But I come around, it, it's a whole different happening, it's happening in dancehall. Okay, you and you've, you've exploited that quite well. Mm -hmm. And as we said, and, and conceded and, and explained <laughs> earlier, you read yeah. the street very well, yeah. you know the street, and, and, and that's why you're successful. Yeah. But, but I still don't mm -hmm. see how you're going mm -hmm. to be able to maintain this. Mm -hmm. Your sound, okay, mm -hmm. so you, you probably won't ever run out of lyrics or things to mm -hmm. comment about. Mm -hmm. Never. But won't your sound be a little bit um, expired after a while? Good point. And if you check Vibes Cartel's um, initial entry into dancehall, 
2002 when Vibes Cartel came out with songs like Batman, look man, look man, look man, and some flows like that. As to Vibes Cartel flow now, you would see a change. Because yes. Vibes Cartel, that is how I always stay relevant to what is happening dance. Vibes Cartel always changes, not the skin tone. <laughs> 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 the musical, the construct. musical <laughs> construct as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Vibes Cartel always strives mm. to be relevant, to maintain that relevancy among the youth. Because a teenager in 2002 is not a teenager now. Yes. He's an he's a, he's a, he's a adult, a young adult. Yes. So Vibes Cartel has new teenagers now to control. Mm -hmm. So I have to remain relevant to them and to their... For how long? Well, for uh, as long as... As, 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 as they as, want as, you? Uh, no, you for as long as I can. You can. Because as as they can. will decide when to dismiss you, right? Yeah, because the power ultimately always rests with the people. Yes. Yeah, I wish the people would, would, would figure that out where politics is concerned, but that is a debate for our next interview. But the power ultimately always rests with the people. Whether it be politics or government or, or government, church. religion, anything. Yeah, man. Yes. Straight up. So you, you are humbly accepting and, and basking in the... In your moment now. Basking in my moment with <laughs> cake soap as a sun <laughs> Knowing that the day will come when you will be dismissed like everybody else. Yeah, man, because, and that is, the, the, yeah, good point. That is why it is business as usual. For Vice Cartel, nothing personal. As all a lot of other artists take it. That's why a lot of artists in Vice Cartel running the place now and trying to get their 15 minutes of fame. Their 15 minutes of fame gone a long time. And no matter what they do, it can't come back. It's Vibes Cartel time now. And you have to accept that. When it is not my time, I will accept that and retire gracefully. Yes. Unlike a lot of these other dinosaurs in the business. Where you're heading, Vibe, what will make you self-actualize? When you will you say, I have, I have achieved everything that I set out to achieve? Well, I don't know, you know, because I recently did a, a, a survey on the world's 1,000 billionaires, and I think the youngest billionaire is like 53 years old, so in that spectrum, <laughs> I think Vibes Cartel is fairly young, and we are still searching, you know what I mean? For Vibes the Cartel billions. Still, not necessarily for the billions, but searching. Yes. That, okay. is, that is the mode that Vibes Cartel is in right now, whether you want to say spiritually, yes. financially, musically. Vibes Cartel is just in a, in a searching mode right now. So don't be surprised. You, so I you can, will condemn some of what you've done now, in a future time. Let's wait and see now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least. At least. Nice chat, Yeah, man. Respect. Yeah, man. Nice chat. Um, we appreciate your coming and talking to us so candidly about so many issues. Yeah, we, we hope, too, that we've been able to ask all the questions that you out there wanted us to ask of Vibes Cartel. Mm -hmm. I am Winford Williams on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for something big right here on stage. Oh. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. People gone insane musically As if them insane like musically Hey, we come through with the party Me just yeah. can't help myself, I feel so